Well, I want, that's what I want to talk to you about next. Is let's 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 get some detail on that progression. Uh, we've talked about it a little bit. It was early 2004, mm -hmm. and I've asked you before, but I'm going to ask you again. Why did you fall out of favor? Do you remember if it was a particular incident, or you just don't remember anything at all? 2004. I think that there was... I think that it started with the New Year's event in 2004, that me and Guillaume and Jaeger and maybe Kurt Weiland seems to be my recollection, and maybe Ray Midoff. Anyway, these events were always like a... a a source of massive, massive uh, flat. Miscavige was never happy with anything that anybody ever did at any of those events, except for himself. And so, and, and you know, these speeches that were delivered would be being written for weeks and weeks and they'd get sent to him and then he'd reject them and then he'd rewrite them and then he'd reject them again and then he'd rewrite them and then then he wouldn't like how people delivered the speech and then it would be like oh you took you went too slow so I didn't have enough time left and so after that event Myself, it, it was at least myself and Guillaume and Jaeger, and I think it was also Kurt Weiland and Ray Midoff. He's like, oh, fuck you all, you're all a bunch of cocksucking assholes. Security, take them back to, to the base and lock them up in OGH. So we were sent back to the base, like, before the end of the night, you know, like, and put in old Gilman house and told that we were, you know, persona non grata and that we had to, you know, we're all SPs and we had to do A through E, which is the steps for a suppressive person. Yeah. And then what happened was at some point along the line, we got moved out of OGH because more people kept getting added to this list of suppressives that Miscavige had now uncovered. You know, the entirety of the top level of Scientology management was now all SPs. So we all got put in this A through E room, is what it was called, the A to E room, where the real SPs were. But pretty soon that filled up so much that it took over half of the double wide trailers the WDC conference room and what had been the A through E room and it sort of expanded out and that's the time when the musical chairs then happened is in that location what was called the A through E room then and when the the uh, widely publicized and greatly heralded incident of Marty Rathbun tried to kill me <laughs> a, I mean, every, every person that's ever asked me about that, he said, you know, Marty Rathbun, what Marty Rathbun did to me in at that incident was absolutely nothing compared to Miscavige. And there was no five people dragging him off me as, my, as I went fucking red and was about to choke and he would have killed me, blah, 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 blah. You know, when... When he wrestled me to the ground and he was sitting on top of me, I actually looked up at Marty and I said, Marty, I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm done. And he stopped. He just literally stopped. So this, this whole, you know, now revisionist history about how Marty Rathbun had tried to kill me is just that, revisionist history. And it was not nearly, I mean, I wish some of those brave souls had been around to drag Miscavige off me. I mean, I could have used that. I didn't need anyone to drag Marty off me. I just had to tell him, I'm, not, I'm done with this, I ain't playing this game. Those are my exact words, Marty, I'm not playing this game anymore. He <laughs> just went. It's sort of, I, I guess it's sort of, 
I don't know, ask him what, is, what happened on his side of that equation. But, he, I mean, he was sent to the hole because I supposedly wasn't coughing up enough, you know, enough things that satisfied Miscavige that I was proving him right that I was an SP. 